What is going on, everybody? This is Lee Bob 05, and thank you so much, men, women, boys, and girls, young and old. Thank you for joining me in my world. I uh, really appreciate you giving me a chance to uh, bring you some joy, bring you some laughter, and uh, let's do a spin. And two. And three. There, now we're getting in a good dizzy mood and ready to work. But like I said, thank you so much for coming to this channel. Uh, it's really a blessing, and I hope that I'm a blessing to you today. Bring you some joy, bring you a little bit of laughter today on a very short episode. I'm not going to do a too terribly of a long episode. I just don't want to have such a big gap in between my episodes so I can keep uh, keep these going uh, and keep you guys up to date what's going on in my world. So uh, not much has changed. I will show you this. I've done a little bit more on my house. Uh, no house. That's not my house. That's my house. This is going to be my storage area where I'm going to keep uh, some stuff. I'm going to do some more work in here, kind of fill in the ceiling a little bit and add my chest that I'm going to add. Uh, this is something that I added not too long ago. Uh, it's going to be my automatic wheat harvesting farm, and I would like to thank uh, my good buddy, uh, Morbid Fantasy. He actually uh, took me on his world and showed me a few things, so mad props to him. I, I had never built an automatic wheat farm, and he kind of showed me his. This isn't an exact duplicate, and it's not a rip-off, but uh, uh, Morbid, I appreciate you and uh, welcome me on your world and showing me some of your stuff. Uh, but uh, I would show you, of course you guys know what it's going to do, it's going to dispense the water, but I want to let all of my wheat grow, so uh, you can just imagine, I keep running back and forth because I want that cow meat, I'm like a predator in the wild, waiting to strike. <laughs> I miss. <laughs> What is the deal with me missing on like my jump strikes or whatever they're called? Anyways, um, yeah, just imagine, press the button, water comes out, ooh, wheat comes down, awesome, amazing. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, do some on the ceiling in here and uh, we're gonna call it a video. I just wanted to do a quick one uh, just to really, uh, you know, update you guys and not, uh, keep you too much out of the loop of what's going on in the world because hey we're all family here right I can't keep my family out of the loop you guys you guys got to know what's going on so YouTube how you doing today uh, let me tell you that you look smashing and stunning in what you're wearing you look absolutely amazing we probably got people sitting in front of their computer in their underwear is like, oh he thinks my underwear is awesome it's just great is that Haynes <laughs> Okay, uh, please tell me that. Okay. I am debating how high I want to do the ceiling because I still want to have that kind of drop ceiling effect. So, let's see. I, I still want to maintain some of the, uh, the texture too. Uh, I don't want to like completely cover it up with oak because I want to uh, kind of have some of that spruce wood and this would be a lot easier if I do I have dirt of course Lee doesn't have dirt <laughs> that would be <laughs> what what are you talking about that would be convenient if I had dirt mister prepared um, totally totes my goats lost my train of thought I had no idea what I was talking about but it's okay I should totally have dirt. That's why you got a good efficiency pickaxe, so it gets it up quick. Right now, for $9.99, you can own your own efficiency pickaxe. Ladies and gentlemen, you would not want to leave your house without your efficiency pickaxe. Make it efficiency three for 14 easy, easy payments of $39.95. <laughs> so I'm uh, super excited about my channel. I, I'm, I'm really seeing some uh, positive feedback from it, uh, and uh, I'm just going to keep going. And I'm going to keep placing. You know what? You keep keep watching. I'm going to keep placing blocks in the wrong spot over and over and over again, just for your enjoyment. 
you're going to waste 20 minutes of your life every time you watch one of my videos saying, you know what, Lee is so good at placing blocks in the incorrect spots. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's redonkulous. Let, let's say it's redonkulous. I think it's right here. I think this is correct. Yeah. Double it up. <laughs> Is that, is that right? Yeah, good deal. Good deal. Almost done with this ceiling part, and then I'm going to uh, hopefully I've planned to do like a unique little thing with the chest in here. Uh, because, like I said, this is going to be where I store all of my wheat and my wheat. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to do wheat seeds because every time I do a harvest on the uh, automatic wheat farm, I should have more than enough. And, and I really don't want to keep wheat seeds uh, on me unless uh, I do that chicken farm that I was planning, which I might do in a later episode. Um, but as for right now, I'm not going to... Uh, keep wheat seeds. There's nothing you can do to make me keep those wheat seeds. So there. I'm my own independent woman. What? Woman? No. I'm not a woman. <laughs> okay. So let's get all of this up. Where are you at? Pickaxe. Here right. My awesome pickaxe that I bought. That was amazing. What do you think about the pickaxe, Mickey Mouse? Oh, oh, oh boy! <laughs> sure is a nice pickaxe. <laughs> okay. All right, that looks nice. Now I'm gonna go make some fences and the chest. Chest is. <laughs> That's weird saying words like that, adding the s. Like, let me get all the chests is what I want to say. But I mean, do you do you say it like that? Do you, let me get all the chests. <laughs> One little, two little, three little chestuses, four little, five little, six little chestuses, seven little, eight little, nine little chestuses. We've got all our chestuses. How quickly a Minecraft day passes when you get work done. Okay. What I'm wanting to do. I don't even know if this is going to work. If this doesn't, where did my, oh, there they are. <laughs> I was going right, I thought that was cobblestone fencing. Uh, if this doesn't work, then this is just going to be a complete total fail, and I'm glad you guys witnessed it. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. I know it's kind of got a little gap back there, but who's going to walk behind there? I mean, really. Let's get real. <laughs> so, yeah, all of these are going to be, like, connected. It's going to be, like, I think it's going to look pretty neat. I might actually make it look cool and do, like, a... Yeah, like something like that. Something totally stupid that I didn't mean to do. <laughs> um, maybe like a, uh, a stagger pattern or something might look neat. Yeah. Don't you love it when random inspiration hits? I need to do two more chest assistances. <laughs> I've got so much steak, it is unbelievable. I just let steak cook, you know, just leave it in there. What ifs? <laughs> All 
right. I actually kind of like that. It's a little unique. Some of you OCD people are going to be like, <laughs> but uh, I actually kind of like that. Looks pretty neat. I may extend them. I uh, might extend them down and actually do some more chests, but I don't know what all I'm going to exactly do in here. I may actually just do a kitchen on this side and let this be my kitchen area and just turn this into a whole suite. How about that? That'd be pretty sweet to have a suite. Go have a quick sleep real quickly. See if my wheat farm is... I'm going to go for a quick test. I've actually kind of tested it before, but I haven't tested it with a full... Uh, with a full... Uh, the train has left the department <laughs> with a full uh, wheat farm, wheat field actually done. So let's see. Getting there, getting there. Oh, I see two targets. Target A, target B. Target acquired. Going in. There's a successful one. There's another one. And boom goes the dynamite. I didn't get anything from that. Selfish creeper. There's target C. You didn't move. <laughs> that was an utter disaster. Hello, chicken. He looks so sad. Why do you look so sad? Look into the eyes of your killer. What's that? Oh. <laughs> can't screw up this kind of stuff man this is this is gold <laughs> oh man like I said I was talking with my good buddy uh, morbid fantasy earlier and he said that his little girls watch these videos and they called this the Smurf house <laughs> and I actually kind of see it kind of looks like the Smurfs so I thought that was pretty funny well we've got some wheat that we can harvest from this so I want to give this a quick test Make sure I didn't fail at it. Yeah. Nice. Super duper nice. Gonna creep along. Make sure I don't mess up my hold up field. Creepy, creepy, creepy. And go for it. Yeah. I'll plant those back here shortly after I go murder this chicken. <laughs> All right, well, I am actually very, very happy the way this world is going along. Uh, got my dog brigade standing in line, poised and ready. Gentlemen, I can't say this world's gonna be easy on you. <laughs> I can't say you're not gonna face adversity, but dadgummit, you're my dogs and I love you. Even though I do feed you rotten flesh, you seem to like it, so I'm not going to bother. Look at them. They're just like, yes, sir. We will do your bidding. <laughs> and then you got Macy up here. Macy is like the loner. Like, no, I'm not going to conform. That's too mainstream over there. <laughs> the hippie dog. All right, guys. Well, um... I think that is all I'm going to do on this video. Like I said, I wanted to keep this video short and just kind of basically update you on what's going on with the world. I hope I, hope I uh, you know, may have inspired you to do a, maybe a dome kind of build like that on a house or, or a wheat farm like that. Like I said, I give uh, all credit to my bud Morbid Fantasy on that. But I think this is a good time to end it. So uh, thank you so much, YouTube. Thank you, everybody, for... Uh, coming and checking me out and uh, sharing a few laughs with me and watching me fail a few times, which is okay with me because it makes me laugh. So uh, like, like I said, I'm really thankful for my followers and for the likes and for all the views and the, and the good comments and stuff. So uh, keep them coming and I hope to bring you some more funny stuff coming up soon. Like I said, we're going to break out the Nintendo 64 soon and me and my wife are going to do some Let's Plays. So I am super duper excited about that. So until next time, YouTube, be safe and I will see you later.
Bye, guys.